from the AFRTS News Center in Washington, this is the Two Minute Report. I'm Gene Brink. On this edition, health. Defense Department officials say they need fit and healthy troops to succeed in places like Albania and Kosovo. So DOD tracks the health of deployed troops with a system called Deployment Health Surveillance. It starts by screening service members before they deploy. Troops weren't ready to go to the Balkans until they had listened to a health threat briefing and gotten a typhoid shot along with other shots they needed. There's also a pre-deployment health assessment, a questionnaire if you will, where we get a baseline on uh, how the troop is doing before they go. Troops also received a guide to staying healthy. Major Kim says it's easy to read and fits in a pocket. The value to the card, I think, provides the troops uh, an easy way to to remind themselves and others of the importance of, of maintaining good uh, sanitation and hygiene practices while deployed. Health surveillance continues during the deployment. Medical teams continually assess threats so they can advise commanders on how to prevent disease and injury in the ranks. Major Kim says enforcing restrictions on food, water and ice is a priority in the Balkans. It's very important that the troops over there do not eat or drink any food or water unless it's been approved by uh, U.S. military sources. The surveillance also found rodents and ticks can spread lots of disease in the region. So rule cards like this one were made to help troops keep the pests away. Health surveillance will continue even after the deployment. Returning troops will complete another health assessment and get any needed follow-up treatment for ailments they may have encountered. That's the Two Minute Report. From Washington, I'm Gene Brink. On Two Minute Plus, find out more about force health protection by visiting the Joint Staff Medical Readiness Division's website.